Yeah, that's right. It's me again. Yay! Aren't you happy and lucky and gorgeously delighted to be greeted with my visage and my sultry, dulcet, loving tones of of gibberish once again? It is I, the grey man, with my bloggy, 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 blog. Yeah, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. I'm almost having an early night. Although, no, me. It'll probably be a while before I actually go to bed. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, I did a bit of fallout building. Yeah, not massively... Um... Um... Fussed about it, really. Not massively feeling, um... The muse at the moment. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so let's just... Let's do this blinking blog. What's that work was, um... The usual. Tomorrow I'm going to be back... Uh, usual uh, tomorrow night i go to my dad's we're recording his podcast his catman jack's 50s hop and we're doing the uh the november one yeah we haven't done the november one yet so yeah cool yeah i'll be doing the november catman jack 50s hop which will be so i'll try and be up, to, uh, be up thursday then so if you want your dose of 50s rock and roll and rockabilly then make sure you check it out to be my daddy old Catman Jack, followed by with me helping the Rockin' Rhino. That's my cat. That's my rocket. That's my rock and roll DJ name, the Rockin' Rhino. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, history. Right. So today, the 28th of November, on this day in 1291, Edward III's wife. Say that again because it sounded a bit. I said it wrong. Edward I's wife. It sounded like I said third, but I said first, but just really badly. So I said again. Edward I's wife. Eleanor of Castile dies. Crosses are erected where her body rests on the way to London. Okay, 1291 was a long time ago. Yeah. Right, and on this day in 1660, the 12 founding members of the Royal Society meet for the first time at Gresham College in London. Hmm. And on this day in 1943, the Big Three of Churchill, Roosevelt and Stalin meet in Tehran to discuss the invasion of France. I think there's some famous photographs from that period, isn't there? Okay. Um, yeah, not the most wildly exciting day in history from those three events. Although, obviously, the big three meeting was very important for the um, the war effort. Uh, not too sure about the Royal Society. Anyway. A poem. I can't roll my arse today. Random. Yeah. My eyes aren't rolling properly. Random poem for you. For a moment, I was brushing my teeth. I've got two brushing back of my throat. No, I can roll my eyes a bit better than that. Anyway, never mind. It's by a chap called Octavio Paz, who lived from 1914 to 1998. This poem has been translated uh, by Elliot Weinberger. It's called White. Oh, I got that wrong from the start. Wind. Water and Stone. I listed Wind. Wind, Water and Stone by Octavio Paz. Water hollows stone. Wind scatters water. Stone stops the wind. Water winds stone. Wind carves stone. Stone's a cup of water. Water escapes and is wind. Stone wind water. Wind sings in its whirling. Water murmurs going by. And moving stone keeps still. Wind, water, stone. Each is another and no other, crossing and vanishing, through their empty names, water, stone, wind. There you go. Hmm. Fair enough. So, that was it. That was my blog for the day. I'll be back tomorrow with some more blogging. It's a nice quick blog for you, so you can all go to Betty Buys and dream of blogs. Why would you do that? I don't know. But now you now I've said it, you're gonna do it. Dream of blogs tonight. You will dream of blogs. You'll dream of my big googly eyes stare at you saying bloggy 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 blog. Yeah, or maybe you won't. Maybe you've Nobody's watched it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going now. I'm going. See you tomorrow. Really I won't see you obviously, because you could see me if you watch my blog. <laughs>